Guitar ships. Lots of videos being put out on the channel here lately. You're probably pumped as fuck about this, but no need to get a big dick about it. Instead, why don't you fuck up that like button for me? I really hate when YouTubers ask their audience to like the video as soon as it starts. I would never do this. I've got a real treat for you guitar nerds out there today because we're gonna be covering some really technical non-musical exercises today that will enhance your technique by at least 900. You're gonna wanna watch this video to the end as well because these exercises that I'm about to show you truly are the best. And the way I'm defining best is not by my own personal opinion, although that does have a little bit of influence, but also the mass opinion of everybody that's checked out these exercises. Lastly, before we get in, the bulk of my audience is men. So men, I would say that your girlfriend is gonna love you for these exercises. I would say that, but I'm not going to because you're probably too ugly to have a girlfriend. Lucky for you though, with the skills that you're gonna learn in this lesson, you'll at least be able to play guitar. But if you think playing guitar is gonna help you with girls, ha, ha, ha. Wrong! Do you know how many girls I've DM'd in my life with my fancy guitar Instagram? A lot! And do you know how many have replied? Not a lot! Exercise one. This first exercise is the easiest and most basic, so we're not gonna be spending a whole lot of time on it. It's the classic one, two, three, four exercise and combinations. It goes like this. <laughs> So why do we practice this? To build finger strength and hand synchronization. It's pretty easy, but it's also pretty easy to screw up. The most common mistakes I see my students make are the following. Lifting their fingers as they ascend. Letting open strings ring out. And not sounding smooth and connected. If you don't have a strong attention span, you're gonna get bored really quick with this exercise. So when that happens, you can start mixing it up with different finger combinations like two, four, one, three, or three, two, four, one, or four, three, one, two. <laughs> A good rule for practicing the combinations is when you can go up and down three times without stopping, you're probably pretty comfortable at that tempo and you can increase the tempo. Exercise two. This next exercise was shown to me by one of my professors when I was at St. of X. It's similar to the previous exercise, but a little bit more difficult. We still span across four frets, but this time we're gonna be anchoring one of our fingers down. Which finger you choose is up to you, but I find that it's the hardest when you anchor your ring finger. Check this out. So why do we practice this exercise, Brandon? Pretty much the same reasons that we practiced the first one. It's just this one is like the 2.0 version. It stretches the hand more and it's just better than the first one. And these exercises might feel pretty tough on the pinky, but that's normal. It just means you're a bitch. Exercise three. This next exercise is gonna isolate your right hand. It's built for speed. Get this down and you'll be playing faster than a jet. Basically what we're gonna do is play a full bar of 16th notes on the high E string. Then we'll play two groups of 16th notes alternating between the E and the B strings. Then we'll play two more groups of 16th notes alternating between the E and the G strings. Oh, and you don't need your left hand at all for this exercise. So feast your eyes on this.
What's tricky about this exercise is that you're starting with an upstroke on the downbeat. Naturally, we prefer to start with a downstroke on the downbeat. You can practice it that way if you prefer, but that's not what I demonstrated in the video. But I don't give a shit what you do with your life. Go work at McDonald's. Before you know it, you're gonna be playing faster than one of those speed walkers you see walking down the street that aggressively swing their arms. Exercise four. I call this one the McRocklin exercise, named after the Shred King himself, Thomas McRocklin. Whether or not he created this exercise, I do not know. But my first time being exposed to it was through videos on his Instagram page. At first glance, this exercise is more of a pain in the ass than that slightly less attractive friend that keeps cock blocking you. But it's actually not that bad. Check it out. to help the algorithm, damn it. That exercise looks pretty tough, eh? But if you stop freaking the fuck out for a sec, we can clearly see that there are two patterns going on. The high E string is repeating the same four notes constantly. Every other string follows a pattern of three, two, one, four. We only have fingers one and three on the neck or two and four, why was that so hard to do? But never both, and they form two different shapes, either a minor third interval or a perfect fifth interval. And I assign those intervals pretty loosely because they're only really true when you're playing the B in the E string. But for the sake of making things somewhat organized, that's how we're gonna classify them. Now that I've explained the exercise to you, let's slow down the clip and watch it again. So why do we do this exercise? To stretch the fuck out of your hands, clearly. Guitar collection reveal 250,000 subs. Exercise five. By this point, some of you in the live studio audience here are probably wondering, Brandon, who the fuck is that guy? There are also some of you thinking, Brandon, these exercises are great and all, but I don't want to be a shredder. I want to play beautiful chords, you know? Make people cry and shit. All right. For those of you that have feelings and all that other useless shit, this next exercise is for you. I learned this one from Joe Satriani. Basically what you do is make a staircase looking chord, invert it, and then repeat. My God, that's beautiful. You're gonna have people crying harder than those deer from Bambi. And you can change up the strings you played on as well. Exercise six. This next exercise is brought to you by the legendary guitar YouTuber, Paul Davids. This exercise really pisses me off, but I'm not even mad. The first part of it goes like this. You form the staircase shaped chord, which is a major seventh chord for those of you that can actually speak guitar. And then you pick the notes individually while keeping your fingers on the frets, but don't let those notes ring out like a chord. It's like a shitty sweep or something. <laughs> That part's not too bad, but this next one is gonna make you wanna do some cliff diving. Let's get the tab on the screen. So here's what we're playing, but the catch is we have to keep all of our fingers in the original spot. We're allowed to move our middle finger and our ring finger for these notes, but you'll notice when you play the low part of this exercise that it is insanely difficult to keep your middle finger in the same spot. <laughs> Big fun in the sun. Exercise seven. I once had a student ask me how they can practice guitar without actually having their guitar with them. Reason being is that he works a lot. Massive respect, but massive disrespect for not having your guitar with you at work. If your boss gets pissed off, just get more pissed off at him. Believe it or not, there are actually some things that you can do to practice without having your guitar with you. Assuming that you have a metronome app on your phone, because what musician doesn't, you can practice counting. And just to be clear, the numbers go in the following order. One, two, three, four. 
I know that some of you didn't know that, but there you go. What a nice guy I am educating you like that. It's really easy at tempos like 120. But the slower the tempo, the harder it is to stay on beat. This is 75 beats per minute. Now let's try 50 beats per minute. The lowest this metronome can go is 30. So let's give this a shot. When you start getting extra slow like this, you need to start counting the subdivisions of rhythm in your head. So if I'm counting along to 30, I'm actually counting the 16th note subdivisions between every beat. Check it out. A one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a four E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a there you go. So if you don't have your guitar with you, that is no longer a legit excuse. You can still do things to practice. Plus you can count to four now. So if that was an excuse, it's no longer. Exercise eight. I'm sure we're all familiar with the legendary guitarist Papa Head. Well, he has nothing to do with this next exercise. I found this exercise in John Petrucci's Rock Discipline Teaching. This is a sweep picking exercise. But if you can't sweep, no need to cry like a little bitch. This is actually a really easy exercise. We can use the same chord shapes that we used from the Satriani exercise, but now we're gonna be sweeping them. Check it out. <laughs> Just make sure when you're doing this exercise that you aren't stressing your shoulder. Do you play guitar with your shoulder? No! So why are you using it? Like I said, this is a really easy exercise. So get off the damn cigarettes and hop to it. Don't subscribe to my channel. These exercises, as I've said previously, are non-musical. If you'd like a clearer structure on how music actually works, or learn to be a better improviser, or write music that goes beyond the realm of basic chords, then book a call with me. It's free, but I don't accept anyone. Click the link in the description of this video and you'll be taken to another video that outlines the differences between a pro and a noob player. After the video ends, you'll be prompted to fill out a survey. Once you complete it, you can schedule a call with me. Eventually though, I'm gonna stop doing these calls myself and hire someone else to do it. So better act now. We'll talk about your problems and whether or not my program 52 Week Guitar Player is a good fit for you. It's not a one-on-one -on -one lesson kind of thing but there's a clearly structured curriculum and feedback is given daily in the Facebook group. And there are two live streams per week where you can ask either me or another amazing instructor questions. If you commit to the weekly video challenge, you'll also be held accountable for your effort. Best program on the internet right here. You don't get that with anyone else. This next exercise is like micro pieces of the one, two, three, four. But instead of using all of our fingers, we're only using two at a time, like this. <laughs> We can also trill the notes. This is something that flute players do a lot, I think. Let's ask one. Ariana, do flute players trill a lot? Yes. That's the smartest thing I've ever heard in my life. Fuck up that like button and leave a comment to help the algorithm. So if you wanted to play this exercise as trills, here's what it would sound like.
Exercise 10. Here's some useful exercises that you can do before you start playing. It would have made more sense to put these at the start of the video, but that didn't fucking happen. What you want to do first is run your hands under some hot water to get the blood flowing. I'm not going to do that right now though myself because I don't feel like it. The next thing you want to do is start massaging and squeezing your fingers like this. It's like you're giving your fingers a shitty hand job. Next, you want to stretch your fingers all the way back and then make a grabbing motion. And then go the other way and do the grabbing motion again. It's kind of hard to show on video, but repeat with all your fingers. You can stretch the gaps of your fingers like this. You can also do this and the opposite. But unlike me rushing through them in this video, you should actually spend 10 to 15 minutes on them so you can condition yourself well and prevent injury. If you're feeling really badass, take some nail clippers and start clipping your finger skin. Yes, the skin, not the nails. All right, you just wanna get a good chunk of skin here. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Don't think we're just gonna stop at one finger. You gotta do this to all your fingers. And that's pretty much it. So make sure you fuck up that like button and book that call. We have to hit one mil on the channel by September of 2022. Guitar Collection reveal at 250,000 subscribers. But don't subscribe to my channel. In fact, you know what? Just, just leave, okay? I don't want you here.